Veterans groups and officials with the Guam National Guard were on hand at the legislature this morning to testify in support of bills that offer added rights and protections to local military staff and their loved ones. The bills, introduced by Senators Judy Guthertz, Rory Respicio, B.J. Cruz, and Frank Blas, cover a range of key challenges veterans and returning or active duty service people face. One aims to grant protections to the family members of deployed service people if they want to take leave from work in order to travel off-island to visit them during R&R. These protections would prevent employers from firing or otherwise retaliating against them for taking the leave. They're given a few days off uh, to recuperate before they have to go back. Of course they'd want to see their family member, whether it's a wife or a mother or someone else, so I think it's very appropriate. We're just being consistent with what other states are doing and what the federal government does. A second bill would give a 180-day grace period to military staff who have returned from duty and to their families for the renewal of expired licenses, including driver's licenses, recreational licenses, and others. And a third bill would provide a waiver of fees for fishing and hunting licenses on Guam to veterans. The National Commander of the American Legion, David Rabine, says these bills come as the role of the U.S. military is changing, and Armed Forces people are in need of support to deal with the added demands of service. We have changed, our military has changed over the years from being primarily single to now primarily being families, and we must involve the whole family, we must make sure that the quality of the life for the family is what it should be or we will lose the military member. And what I, what I saw here this morning was a, a real effort to address some of those issues. Major General Donald Goldhorn of the Guam National Guard echoed those sentiments. We have used our soldiers and our airmen increasingly in deployments around the world. And those challenges for the family members when they are left to uh, basically deal on their own uh, these kinds of programs and, and this bill will help some of that. The bills are set to come before the legislature again in the near future. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.